I'm Dr. Cindy Taroski here with Paris of Dermatology, and I'm going to take a couple of minutes to talk about um, a subject matter that we get a lot of questions um, about during our clinic visits. We're going to be um, chatting a bit about dietary contributions um, to acne. And for years, I can't tell you how many patients, and it was most of the time the parents of my patients that have asked me during acne visits, you know, is soda contributing to my teenager's acne? Does chocolate make um, his or her acne worse? And until recently, we really couldn't make global recommendations about diet and acne. And as physicians, we really make our recommendations based on evidence-based medicine. And that's really what differentiates us from your Google search and the information that you may get from the internet. But more recently, we do actually have some clinical trials and some data that has put together um, some trends that we are seeing regarding some of the dietary things that can contribute to acne. And really some of the recommendations that we now can make based on this are there really two things um, in general in your diet that we know now can worsen acne. And by minimizing some of these exposure, it's part of an acne treatment plan. Just a quick background on acne. Acne is a combination of a number of things at work. Um, it's inflammation, it's bacteria growth, it's clogged up pores, it's hormones, and it's oil production. And that's why if you've ever been in our office and gotten on an acne treatment plan, there are a number of different things that we use together that are targeting different um, parts of those uh, components. And that's where the diet comes in. So our diet, we know, can either create or inhibit inflammation. And two things we know in diet and acne increase the inflammation, which is why it drives um, acne. First, we'll start talking about glycemic index. Glycemic index, to put it simply, is really the sugar load in our diets. And we know that there are foods that are either high glycemic index or low glycemic. And it's basically how that food is broken down and converted into sugars and how fast that sugar is available to the system. We know that high glycemic index uh, diets contribute to the worsening of acne. So even though a couple years ago I couldn't tell someone, yes, chocolate is gonna make your acne worse, I now can say that chocolate as a part of a high glycemic index diet can certainly worsen acne. The second thing is dairy products and specifically milk products. Um, and what we've found is that there are certain parts of the milk that contribute um, to both the inflammation and to the hormonal component of acne. And when we look at the data, milk in general was associated with an increase in worsening acne, but even more so was skim milk, which was a bit of a perplexing fact for us. But when we think about those food items and, and really how it contributes to glycemic index, there's actually a connection there. So when you have full fat milk, you have a combination of fats and carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are, are broken down into sugars, leading to that glycemic index. In addition, a lot of our milk sources particularly non-organic sources have a lot of added hormones in it but even organic milk has hormones because the milk is produced by cows um, during pregnancy and during pregnancy induced state so milk in general is going to have hormones in it well when you take the fat out of milk to make skim milk you're now leaving in more carbohydrates so it, it has to do with how the body absorbs and breaks down that food so in skim milk there is more of a carbohydrate load which um, increases the glycemic index of skim milk so now now we have two dietary things that we can say that for sure contributes to worsening of acne. And it's kind of like the old wives tale and the recommendations that we've been saying for all these years that, you know, the, the better our diets, the better our health is going to be. You know, our skin is the biggest organ that we have and certainly our diet is going to um, be represented in that. So I don't think that anyone needs to make any extreme changes to diet just to treat their acne, but I think it is something to consider uh, when we're looking at our diet as a whole to start reducing some of these high sugar, high processed um, foods um, to help benefit the other acne treatments that we're uh, utilizing. Um, and in addition, if you are a big dairy um, eater, or, sorry, drinker, um, and you drink a lot of milk, um, choosing organic um, non-skim options may also um, be helpful uh, towards your acne. And these are conversations that we love to have with our patients. So certainly if you want more information um, or if you are struggling with acne or have a family member struggling with acne, we would love to get you into the office and to come up with a, a comprehensive treatment plan and have a further discussion about this. Thank you.